finishing Baldy's head. So this is the part two. So we've got our balloon all paper mache real good. So it's nice and hard. Next up is to pop the balloon, pull the balloon out. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach the eyes. We're gonna make the eyes out of some foam like Bentley's got here. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna cut the eyes. We're gonna tape them on here. We're gonna make the nose out of the foam and also the lips. We'll just kind of shape it and then we'll tape it on and then we'll paper mache right over it. So let's get started. Okay. Right? So we'll go ahead and we'll pop the balloon first. Woo! That sounded cool, huh? All right, so we got our balloon popped. And it'll come right, right out. Okay, that was pretty cool, huh? All right, so we're done with that. Now, we are going to cut. And when you cut for the the hole for your head, you want to make sure you're cutting it to the back. You don't want to just cut the bottom off or it won't fit right. So you want to kind of cut cut up the back side so it'll it'll sit on your head just right. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut this. And make sure when you're doing this you've got a parent or an adult helping you with cutting. Because you don't want to accidentally cut something you're not supposed to be cutting, including your, your body, or your hands, or anything else. It'll hurt. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll hurt a little bit, huh? It will not go good. No. But you just want to cut a little bit at a time, because you can always cut a little more off. You don't want to cut too much, and then you get to the point where you have to try to figure out how to glue it back on. So that's not quite big enough. So we'll cut just a little bit more. Okay. Gotta go a little bit bigger here. Okay guys, we had a camera malfunction that fell off our, our stand, but we're back. We got our hole cut. You can see it's cut towards the back, mm -hmm. so we can fit our head in. We don't just cut a hole in the bottom. And then it goes on just right. And then you want to kind of mark, you want to make a mark where your eyes are at inside. And that's not where you want to glue the eyes, the foam eyes, you want to glue them just above that because the spot where your eyes is at is where you're going to actually make a hole so you can actually see out of your mask. So we will go ahead and we will mark that and we will make a hole, make a, a mark on it here. So these two marks is where we're gonna actually cut to make the eyes. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna cut the foam, we're gonna tape them on here, and then we're gonna paper mache right over that. So we've got our, our hole cut, now we'll move on to the foam part here. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll do just one here. And we wanna cut them so it's just about the size of what the eye is what we want. 
once again, make sure you have a parent or adult help you with cutting. Yes, also get her problems. Yeah. Two eyes that we've cut. Two eyes. And these are going to be glued right onto the mask, right above our our spots here. Okay. So we want to kind of round out the back of them so that they fit flush against the paper mache. So we're going to kind of kind of dig out the center a little bit. Okay. Make it kind of like a bowl shape. Once again, we don't cut too much. You want to cut just enough. You can always dig a little more out. Yep. And you got to start over. Huh? So if you guys are have made a mask like this, or you're currently making one with us, go ahead and make leave a comment down below of what you've made with the paper mache before, or if you're making the baldy mask right now as well and how it's turning out for you. So if you can see this here, we've kind of rounded it out a little bit, made a little dip, and that'll help it sit more flush against the mask. Okay. I'm going to cut a little bit more off, just kind of shaving it. Bentley's little cousin from Travis and Beyond. He's got a video up of Hello Neighbor with the mask, and this is how they made it with, with their paper mache. So, that one looks pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and we'll dig this one out. If you guys haven't seen his channel, go ahead and go search for Travis and Beyond. That is Bentley's cousin Travis. And I think most of you are saying Trinity and Beyond. Yep, Trinity and Beyond is Bentley's other cousins, Trinity and Madison. And they are doing lots of videos of Hello Neighbor and Baldy and, and Granny. I don't think they have children. We're going to go see them in California here in just a couple months, huh? Mm -hmm. Exciting. It follows like one month. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So, we got those done pretty good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue those on there. Okay. We'll put a piece underneath them just to kind of hold it in place a little bit. And this isn't going to hold them too secure, but It'll hold them just enough so we can get some paper mache on it. Okay. I'm excited to finish this whole thing. Yeah. Tell us what it looks like. But once we get a paper mache over the eyes and the mouth and in the, the nose, then we can go ahead and we'll paint it up. Kind of a long, long process, mostly just waiting time, waiting for it to dry. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's what takes most of the time. Yeah. If you're gonna have to wait for it to dry, it'll be done pretty quick. Yep. The 
tape doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to hold it. Because the paint will probably cover it all up. Yeah, the paper mache will cover it. A little paper mache right over it. So here we've got our, our two eyes mounted with a little bit of tape. Now we will go ahead and we will do the same thing with the foam. But now we're going to shape the nose. And then we'll shape the, the lips. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll be right back with you. Five minutes later. Okay, guys, we're back. Okay. We got the the foam all cut out and taped on for the eyes and the nose and the lips. I think it looks pretty good. Me too. It kind of looks kind of ugly right now, but it'll all look like part of the paper mache once we're done with it. So well, we're done with the whole thing. Look we're gonna go ahead. Eye. We're gonna paper mache over the whole face again and let it harden up and we'll have to probably wait until tomorrow before we can paint. So we'll get paper mache in. Okay guys, we got our paper mache glue mix here made up. We got our, our pieces of paper. We're gonna go ahead and just start covering this with paper mache just like we did the balloon at the beginning. Okay. And so we will start doing that. All right. All right. Leave comments in the in the bottom there if you guys are making one with us and how it's coming. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Oh what a day! What a lovely day! Mm -hmm.